Hey, bro, guess who just became Muslim? You won't believe it. Uh, uh Diddy? No, no, Diddy, bro. No. no I, I don't know. You, you ask me, like, I just thought of, like, the like the least of you. No, a a Aiden Ross. For real? For real. Hello, Akbar. Bro, that's not even him for real. Muslims are loving this. They love it. Anytime a celebrity becomes a Muslim, they they use it and abuse it. No one can call us dirty. We do this five times. A Bro, a lot of people just do that for the vibes. You think he would do the Shahada for the vibes too? No, that would fully make me believe it, but did you even see him do that? Say, Ashadu. Ashadu. Bro, you, you sure that's like not AI? Bro, bro, how much proof you need? I showed you him making wudu. I showed you him praying, and I showed you him making the shahada. I don't know. He's probably just doing it to get more views. Okay, this is this is cringe. Let me just show the the clips. In the name of God, Bismillah. Yeah. Okay. And then you put the water and you spit it out. And make sure you rinse three times. That's Sneeko next to him, which is a Muslim streamer. He was a streamer, then he started to lose clout, got canceled, and then he became a Muslim. Mainly because Andrew Tate became a Muslim, and he has, like, he worships Andrew Tate, so he became a Muslim. All right, now here's a weird one. You have to put the water in your in your hands like this, and you got to, like, inhale it in your nose. Really? And then, and then spit it out. <laughs> Three times. Do my nose. You supposed to do that? You have a big nose. It's easy to get in. See, I don't know what they're. I, I've I've never seen this. I don't know if they're trolling or not. Last one. Uh, that was three. This is the third. Okay, you got it. Yep. Get the, all the cocaine out. <laughs> Ironic. Get out all the MDMA. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> get your face. Oh, I'm not done. Sorry. Just wash my face. Yeah, three times, right? I wonder where they got these uh, cleanliness practices from. Okay, let's see what else we got. Anna, Anna, Ilaha, Ilaha, Ilallah. He's doing the shahada. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna, Anna. Muhammadan, Muhammadan. Rasulullah, Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. So what does that mean? Because everyone's <laughs> clapping. It means you're one of us now. I mean, can you imagine like a religion? You got to freaking brainwash somebody and not have them not even know what the heck they're doing to be forced into it. Like this is really a gang. You're Muslim. We got one. <laughs> well, you guys are back to Palestine, man. Free Palestine, of course. Uh, there's a slip like this right here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's go, man. W Aiden. Where's that where's that money going, bro? What's that? Uh we just came here. We just came here yesterday. Oh my gosh, man. Ah, oh, these kids, these kids. Anything for clout. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is not for clout. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahman Rahim. Maliki o Mindin, Iakana Budu, Iakana Stain, Idina Sorota Mustakim, Sorota Ladina and Amtali. Man, I would never, I could never pray in a mosque, bruh. Hey, what's up, Ethiopian gang? Shalom, shalom. What's good? What's up? What's good? We got Israelis up in here. That's good. That's good. We got some, maybe, I think, probably, there's probably some uh, Muslim Israelis seeing this. We'll see how they uh, take it. I can't say this now. <laughs> Amen. Oh my gosh. Okay. We, we'll get through this. This will be a quick one. That's good. <laughs> oh, dude. I could never. You couldn't pay me money, bruh. Oh my gosh, dude, you could not, I don't care how much clout, I don't care, you know, if I got a freaking gun to my head, bruh, I I could never. Yeah, that's good. Allahu Akbar. And each time you move, you're saying Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allahu Akbar. Yes. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Okay. Okay, so, I mean, he can't be that dumb. Shahada. What does that mean? Uh, say Ashadu. Ashadu. 
Anna. Anna. <laughs> is that a Pilates class? Yeah, it's yoga. It's yoga. Come on, man. It's yoga. Ilaha. Ilaha. Ilala. Ilala. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Um. Anna. Amna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. They're such weirdos. Tula. Yeah. Cool. That's it. And that's it. And you're done. Awesome. Did we you get up now? You did a Muslim prayer. There we go. First time. Yeah. That's awesome. How does it feel? Good. I like the energy, the peace. Um, I feel like once it's my first time, but I feel like uh, you know, once you do this every day, I feel like it'll become easy by nature, you know. And you're bound to probably get healthier as well. Bro, he's talking about doing this every day. Man, I this is either first of all either way is bad right if he's doing this for clout this is like the douchiest way to get clout and then if he's being genuine that's also an issue like oh my gosh yeah so yeah i guess you there's no real winning out of this situation he's an idiot either it's way true by washing yourself it's crazy then the routine I like, it just keeps you, clears my mind, bro. Like whenever I have uh, hardships or like something's going on with my family or whatever, I just like give all that, I just talk to God. Get rid of all, all the hardship I have in my life. Gotcha. It's fixed a lot of mental health problems for me. Best therapy ever. Promise me you're gonna read this, I can give this to you. Uh, well, I'm gonna be real with you. Or you can take a <laughs> <laughs> I just don't wanna like lie, you know? Okay, so maybe, I don't know, I'm still, I'm still, uh iffy about it. Yeah, that's fine. Then, okay, then don't, don't, don't take it. At least he's honest. I, I don't want to lie to you. I don't, I don't want to give you like some, oh yeah, yeah, and then not, you know. Inshallah, if you're ever in Toronto again, you're more than welcome to come and read this. Thank you, bro. Okay. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Wassamai wa khani To a synagogue with Aiden Ross, he invited me to Am I allowed to go to a synagogue with Aiden Ross? He invited me to Canada and asked me to go to the synagogue. I can pray in a synagogue, correct? Oh, you know what? They're probably just doing each other's uh, religion or something. Uh, well, uh, you kind of like this is an issue of uh, of a disagreement a bit. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you necessarily. I heard that. Uh, I heard somebody say that a Jewish person can pray uh, in a a rabbinic Jewish person can pray in a mosque because they both believe in monotheism. Which, that's wild. That's almost, that's like borderline co-signing Islam, in my opinion. That's just how I see it. Obviously, I'm not a rabbinic Jew, so it doesn't bother me. But that's just a very odd thing. Necessarily do that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody can uh, enlighten me, but I've seen multiple clips on that. Hey there. If you want to visit and then, uh, I don't know, what, is, what would be the behind doing that? I'm surprised he told you to come here to visit. Well, he right? always tries to kill me like that. He always like, let's go to Israel. Let's go. And then oh, put a yarmulke on you know. my head and stuff. No, 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 no. But if, he, if he, they <laughs> yeah, pull up to Israel, why not? Start doing that, then I would say no. Because a lot of these things are religious practices. And then they will be prohibited Islamically from a Muslim to do them because another religion's practices. Mm. Uh, it's just I mean, that's actually fair. Like, he's making he's making a lot of sense. Like, if you want to participate in the religion, you're, like, condoning the practices. I don't care if you're trying to be nice or it's still... If you're a religious person... I mean, if you're an atheist, then all of this is a joke to you. But if you're not, then this is... Ridiculous. It's like you'd go to a church and eat, uh, drink the blood of Jesus and eat from the flesh and all of this stuff. These are religious practices. No Muslim should be going and doing that because these are association. Uh, same thing with the Jews. If you're going to go there, just look at the place and leave. That is permissible. It's not like entering and exiting. Well, I, can is visit, not like... I can visit the synagogue with Aiden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go enter in and out. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. I never thought I would uh, agree with this dude, obviously, from a from a different angle like why are you going into uh you know going into it is is one thing right you know going into it into it check it out but bro you trying to do their rituals is like i don't know that that's going in a in a different uh territory you know because yeah i don't know that doing the shahada like that's that's next level and then allah right your hands like this. just tap it no no be like this like let it like be like uh Prostrate the whole time. I'm not trying to, can you actually like angle my body properly? I'm not trying to, like. You're actually, doing it right. No, no, you're doing it correctly. Put your head, head right here. Put your forehead right here. Like right here. Yes. On the dot right here. Yes. On the dot. 
That's good. Yeah, that's good. Inshallah. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. And then come back up. Allahu Akbar. And each time you move, you're... Allahu Akbar. That, that phrase, like, annoys me. I mean, when you say it after an atrocity or during an atrocity or before it, I'm not going to have a good condensation. Uh, good. Man, I'm not even going to try to say that word again. Um, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, it's just uh, I can't I can't hear that word the same anymore. You're saying Allah. 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 Akbar. Yeah. <laughs> he's just trolling. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. But I guess he's done this before with uh, Fusi, which is a quote unquote Palestinian. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for waking me and Aiden up this morning and the rest of the boys. Thank you for giving us movement in our fingers. Our powerful and we love you. Thank you for everybody you have introduced into my life. Thank you for letting me meet Aiden Ross. Fusi's like an insane dude. Connotation, yeah. Thanks. Sheesh. I'm struggling today. It's Friday, man. Give me a break. Cheezer, Sneeko, Neon, my security, my driver. Aiden's manager, Will, and everybody else, Ya Allah, may you continue to protect us, may you continue <laughs> Aiden just zoned out. But what we have in common with Jews and Muslims, I think a monotheistic belief is, is, is the first thing that we would say we have in common. As Jews, uh, they believe in one God as well, and as Muslims... Yeah, I mean, no, no Christian believes in multiple gods, but... Um... It doesn't matter to non-Christians because non-Christians like to claim that Christians do, but who cares? We believe in one God. Also, I mean, the idea that we don't believe in a trinity, we don't believe in God having sons or daughters or sisters or moms or all that kind of nonsense that, that came up, we would agree that that's not true. Secondly, we don't eat pork. so <laughs> Yeah, we got that in common for sure. There you well, go. We, we, was, we were trying to find something to eat, and he said something about uh, it being halal. And I said kosher, so it's like the same thing as well. Yeah, I don't know if I buy him being this dumb. I don't, I don't know if I buy it. You know, similarities yeah, in that. Exactly, kosher and halal are very close. I mean, some of the kosher laws are a little bit stricter, um, like non-Jews not touching the meat and all that kind of stuff. In halal, we don't have that kind of thing. But the the more humane way of slaughter, mentioning the name of God, uh, get, cutting in the right way, not not electrocuting or, or shocking it to death, and all those kinds of things would be would be in common as well. Um, a lot of other, I mean, uh, many of the, many of the uh, prayers that we have, you will find similar prayers in in the Talmud and so on mentioned as well. Like Al Fatiha, you will find the meanings of it in many Jewish scriptures as well, and so on. Um, for example, I was speaking to a rabbi, and he said that for a practicing observant Jew, if he had first time catching the stream, been binging your videos, keep up the good work, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Unfortunately, there are many Jews who know nothing about Judaism. This Muslim is schooling him on. Um, Kashrut, Kashrut. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if he's like more identifies with the cultural aspect of being Jewish. I don't. I don't. I don't think he's a religious Jew uh, by any means. I don't even think, to... I don't even think a little bit. Um, so I can see how this stuff is not a big deal to him, but still, it just is very odd. But again, this is we've talked about this before. This is a common tactic making that fan base or getting that fan base. Dan Belzerian, Candace Owens, uh, you know, Andrew Tate, uh, Sneeko, you know, and now Aiden Ross, he's got to make them happy because if he doesn't, that's a big, that's hurting his bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Pray. It would not be okay to pray in a church because they have idols and, and, and it's not a monotheistic place, but it <laughs> would be okay for a practic practicing observant Jew to pray in a masjid. Isn't that funny? A Muslim. Especially after the stream we just did yesterday, <laughs> a Muslim implying that Christians are idol worshippers. That that's that's rich because a place of monotheism where you're Makes at. Sense. So, yeah. Makes sense. So that's just a couple of things about what we have in common. Of course, in Islam, we have a very preserved tradition, meaning the Quran. We've memorized it word by word, letter by letter. It's exact as revealed in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, I mean, he's like, he's giving him dawah right now and bro is not ready. Like, peace be upon him. So we've preserved the text. That's why everybody around you may not be Arab, but they'll know the prayers in Arabic and so on. Um, the original Torah. Right, sorry, do you know Do you know the prayers pretty frequently? Like, do you know it pretty well? Yeah, I can say Surah Fatiha and a couple surahs I'm still learning. But yeah, I could, I could recite one surah. Okay. Oh, but but how, and how I forgot how when did you become a year and a half? 
Okay. So then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the uh, my my uh, my conclusion. I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he's capping? I guess time will tell. But I, I think he's just doing it for the for the views. 